Hello, my beautiful people. Thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I want to share with you some of my favorite recent finds that are going to be incredible for that sexy summer fragrance that we are all looking for. So if that sounds to your liking, stay tuned and let's get started. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Moraima. Thank you so much for stopping by. In this channel, I share some of my favorites from fragrance to self-care and the core. So if that sounds like your jam, please consider subscribing and joining the family. I bring videos on a weekly basis of incredible fragrances and they're super fun and if you are a subscriber thank you so much for being part of the family thank you so much for liking my videos I so appreciate all the support you guys are giving me I'm super stoked I know that we're just a very very small family at this moment but we're just starting and it's going to be an amazing ride so are you excited for these nine summer fresh amazing sexy fragrances that I have for you let's do this the first fragrance I want to start is one that I had already in my collection a little bit ago and the, all the other ones are recent finds that I know you're going to love and this particular fragrance is from a house that has incredible fragrances but this is the one that is my favorite to me I know that a lot of people talk about it and it's for a reason it's really really good this is Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes I mean let's just look at this bottle for a second I mean this I can I, this gradient doesn't get old I just can't get enough of this bottle to me it's beautiful it's it says summer it says sunset I mean the water the amber of the Sun just setting six seven o'clock at night I mean do you see it I see it <laughs> a nice dinner hanging out by the beach in a sunset in a terrace wherever you find yourself in the world this fragrance it's an incredible fragrance that apparently has no coconut but it smells like coconut I don't know how they did it but it's incredible it's a beautiful summer salty gourmand it's a gourmand to me it's a very summer gourmand is the right amount of everything let's take a look at the notes on the main accords it has vanilla salty powdery sweet amber marine warm spicy woody balsamic and musky and for the notes we have on the top notes salt in the middle notes we have vanilla absolute orchid on the base notes we have tonka bean sandalwood musk and benzoin so this is a beautiful summer amber salty fragrance but like I said I smell coconut I don't really understand how there's no coconut maybe sometimes again the notes are from Fragantica so there might be some additional notes that the house hasn't shared but I smell coconut do any of you have it do you smell the coconut or is it only me let me know in the comments below I want to know that I'm not going crazy this is just incredible this is definitely daytime to me this is a very casual fragrance so whether it is during the day or in the evening time it's just going to be a more casual I don't see this going out I don't see this going for like a first date I don't see this obviously evening this is definitely a really really good perfume but not necessarily for an evening out it's more casual uh, the sillage is great the, the projection is really good I would say one or two feet the longevity is also really good I would say three hours four hours depends if you overspray or not then after that it becomes like a skin scent and it's an incredible save buy it's an incredible save buy this was up to now my favorite summer fragrance and there's another one that just came into the picture and it took its place away and it became the number one which you're gonna see a little later on in this video but once again like I said if you're looking for that summer safe salty coconut amber type of fragrance that is well-rounded that can cover all bases vanilla vibes is your girl the next fragrance I want to talk about is from a company that I've been using for years I love 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 this company everything that they bring out is incredibly fresh and exciting and it's something that I would wear in the summer I used to live in the States in sunny Florida and let me tell you it gets extremely hot there and I was rocking this every single day I've had a few flankers as a matter of fact I may do a video showing you all of the different flankers that I have from the company but this one is one that to me takes just a notch up because it's freshy but at the same time it's very perfumey and this is clean reserve radiant nectar this is incredible guys I'm gonna say incredible for other fragrances because obviously everything I have in my collection is because I love it mmm it's so sweet and fresh and bright and crystal and just incredibly just clean it just feels clean but sexy and girly 
This is often compared to Glossier U, and I did a little bit of a comparison side by side, and let me tell you that, yes, it is true, it's similar, however, this is sweeter. Glossier U is not as sweet as this. I think the iris is a little bit higher, and this is a little bit lower, but this is a lot sweeter than Glossier U, but definitely on the same genre, so if you like Glossier U, you're definitely going to dig this one. Let's take a look at the notes. On the main accords, we have musky, fruity, powdery, sweet, amber, aquatic, woody, floral, and fresh. And for the notes, we have pear, umbrette on the top note. And on the middle notes, we have tobacco blossom, orris, and carrot seeds. And on the base note, we have musk, ambroxan, and white cedar extract. It's definitely a creamy but fruity fragrance, but bright and crystal and transparent. Yes, this one is incredible. Uh, it's not going to have the greatest projection. This is more of a skin scent. Maybe on the first hour, it's going to project a little bit. The sillage is okay. It's moderate. But it's one that you don't mind reapplying. I think it's great for every hot summer day. It's going to be sexy and girly enough, yet bright and fresh enough for you to feel clean and not feel like you're wearing like so much sugar on you. I think the name says it all, clean, radiant nectar. So it's definitely clean, it's definitely radiant and bright, and the nectar definitely does have an incredible, nice touch of sweetness, but not clongy, not too much, not overpowering. The reserve line has higher concentration in oil and is a lot stronger than the regular line. The clean, warm cotton, the fresh laundry, and all of those other are a little bit lower and more freshy cologne, body splash type scents. This is more like a real perfume. It does become a skin scent on me like two hours or three hours in. However, it stays all day. And if I put it on clothing and stays even longer than that, to me, it's definitely one of the staples in my collection and I wouldn't want to be without it. I have heard that maybe it's going to get discontinued. Let me know if any of you have heard this rumor. I know that on the Sephora stores is not available anymore. When I walked into a boutique not long ago, they didn't have it. But on the website, on the Clean Reserve website, it is still available. So I don't know. Is it a rumor? Are they just low on stock? I'm not really sure. But once again, Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar is a top, top choice. For the next fragrance, I'm going to try to go real quick, but it's so hard because I'm so passionate about these perfumes that I want to tell you so, so much, but I know that the video is going to be super long. So the next fragrance is one that is often spoken here on YouTube land and with a reason, it has an incredible profile and incredible notes. And this is Jasmine Wisp from the House of Rosassi. Guys, this is good. You know, when you see these reviews, it's kind of tricky because everybody has a different taste and a different scent profile, but sometimes it could be misleading because a lot of people can describe how they feel, how they interpret the fragrance to be, and you feel that that's going to work out for you, and then somehow times you get the perfume and it doesn't work. For me, that happened with Prada La Femme. Whoever, I don't remember the YouTuber that was speaking about it, I saw the review and it sounded like something that I totally wanted to wear and I got it and I had to sell it because unfortunately it wasn't my jam. But anyways, back to this. This is a fruit ball. I feel that this has a little bit of the same kind of like DNA, not DNA, but there's a little something that reminds me of like the Montals and the Manceras but in a good way, in the way that tells you this perfume is gonna last on you all day long, it's gonna have incredible projection, it's gonna have good longevity, so be ready. It's super sweet, it's so bright, and to me, it's a summer all over it. So let's take a look at the notes. On the main accords, we have sweet, fruity, vanilla, white floral, tropical, amber, citrus, fresh, coconut, and powdery. And for the notes, we have on the top notes, mandarin, orange, grapefruit, lemon, on the middle notes, we have passion fruit, white flower, pear, coconut, and peach. And on the base notes, we have vanilla, amber, and toka bean. So definitely a floral, fruity gourmand. This is just an explosion of fruits. It's incredibly well blended. I think it's a great value for the money as well. It's very affordable. To me, this is an ideal floral, fruity gourmand that is a staple in any collection for the summertime when you want to have something that is fruity, but it carries a punch and it gives you a great sillage. It's extremely fun. And the greatest part about it is how affordable it is. This is a super affordable fragrance. So if you're into floral, fruity gourmands, this could be a definitely good option for you. Give it a shot. Jasmine Wisp by the House of Rosassi. 
And now we're gonna take it in an entire different direction. We're gonna go into something more fresh, out of the shower like, something extremely understated. For those who can't wear perfumes, you're perhaps in the medical field and you're not supposed to wear any fragrances, but you still wanna feel fresh, put together, and like you have a little something, or you are meeting your significant other parents and it's during the day, you want something extremely light, I definitely suggest the next one and is Chanel number no. five, Low. Now, very controversial because I didn't want to give this fragrance a chance. I thought it was going to be another version of the typical over 100 years old of the Chanel Number no. 5, which is their most iconic fragrance. And it's very vintagey. And the Alderheist is extremely predominant. And to me, it just feels like very mature, extremely old lady, not exactly what I want it to smell like. But after some research, I saw that this was a very young, modern take on the classical Chanel number no. five. And luckily, my local drugstore had it on their perfume section and I was able to go and smell it on the lockdown days where everything was closed. I couldn't smell many perfumes, but the drugstore always stayed open. However, that section, we couldn't purchase anything, but there was one time that I was able to at least smell it and I was able to see that it was an incredible scent. I think is a classic to have is the typical bottle as you see like a Coco Mademoiselle, the typical Chanel uh, top. It has, it's a plastic cap and the bottle is glass. Obviously this is, I believe the 100 ml. Yes, this is the 100 ml and it's just beautiful. It's just incredibly beautiful. And guys, just take a look at this mister. It is like a beautiful shower of incredible fragrance. Mm. So clean, soapy, just creamy. Oh, they did an outstanding, outstanding job. Let's take a look at the notes. So on the main accords, we have citrus, aldehyde, fresh, woody, yellow floral, sweet, white floral, and powdery. And on the notes, we have top notes, aldehydes, lemon, neroli, mandarin orange, orange, bergamot, and lime. On the middle notes, we have ylang ylang, jasmine, and may rose. And on the base notes, we have white musk, iris root, cedar, and vanilla. So it's a beautiful, feminine, clean, nice combination of notes that definitely gives this fragrance something very unique to me this is such a safe perfume if you want something that again is going to be for the office for the daytime or even if you're just out and about during the day middle of the day hot blazing days this is going to do amazing it's not going to suffocate you it's not going to be extremely sweet it's just actually going to make you feel even fresher despite how hot it could be outside I love it. I just, I don't have much to say. I definitely just enjoy it a lot. Definitely, it's an incredible offering from the house of Chanel. Chanel number no. five, low. Up next, I wanna stay on the same realm of freshy, out of the shower, not clinging, not too sweet type of fragrances. And this is from the house of Replica Bubble Bath. I love this juice. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I put it against my hair. It's a beautiful shade of light blue. It is so, I mean, this says bubble bath. This says fresh. This is incredible. I love how comforting and clean it feels. It has coconut and it definitely makes you feel like you are having a coconut bubble bath and you're just clean. And it's also summery because of that coconut. So it's a little bit different from the beach walk where it also has coconut, but this is more in the clean out of the shower realm. Let's give it a spray. I really love this offering from Replica. I don't like many of their fragrances. I think I have Bubble Bath and Lipstick On and Beach Walk. And all the other ones I'm not really crazy about. I do wanna try Matcha Tea. I think it's a new one that came out. Let me know if you guys have it, if you like it, what does it smell like, should I get it? But definitely this, it's a beautiful light coconut. I think it's in the realms of Guerlain Aqua Legoria Coco Fizz, Coconut Fizz, something like that. I'll put a picture over here. It's just a very light coconut fragrance. So let's take a look at the notes. On the main accords, we have soapy, coconut, musky, sweet, powdery, lavender, and lactonic, all the notes that I love. And for the top notes, we start with soap, 
bergamot, metal notes, lavender, rose, and jasmine. And on the base notes, we have coconut, white musk, and patchouli. Again, a really good combination, a really good blend. It has a little bit of everything. It's a very calming, very comforting. The coconut makes it summery, it makes it fresh. And the soapy, of course, it makes it feel like you just stepped out of the shower. So this is definitely more a daytime type of fragrance or something very casual in the evening time where you don't need to be wearing something too heavy if you're going for a walk if you're just going over a friend's house something like that then this would be an ideal fragrance i love it it's a freshie that i want to have as long as i can in my collection and let me know if you have it let me know if you like it i really really enjoy it once again this is bubble bath by maison margella in the replica line we gotta speed it up because it's gonna be a 20 years long video <laughs> the next one is a staple that a a lot of people like last year it was super spoke about and to me it was i needed to get in the bandwagon it was something that once i smelled it it's just a classic you have to have it in your collection it's relatively new it's a new house that i didn't know but is an incredible freshie to have and this is by Reto bal d'afrique i don't know the label comes extremely wide if i put it over here maybe maybe i'll try to put a little bit of b-roll for you this fragrance it's the perfect vetiver. To me, it's the bright freshie that is not too sweet. It's very unisex. It's an incredible white t-shirt jeans type of fragrance. To me, this is white t-shirt jeans all over it. I love, 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 love this fragrance. I love the minimalistic bottle. I love how it's just the white bottle, the cap, it's very heavy. So it's a magnetic cap, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty sturdy, so you can hold it from the top, no problem whatsoever. This is a 100 ml bottle, and I think it's a staple on anyone's collection. It's definitely a really, really nice summer fragrance. Let's take a look at the notes. Some of the notes that are here are not the typical notes that I would be attracted to, but for some reason, the way they blended this is incredible. So let's take a look at the notes. For the main accords, we have aromatic, citrus, woody, floral, fruity, fresh spicy, white floral, powdery, sweet, and earthy. And as the notes, on the top notes, Amalfi lemon, tagi teas, black currant, bergamot, African orange flower. On the middle notes, we have violet, cyclamen, I think that's how we say it, jasmine. And on the base notes, vetiver, amber, musk, and Virginia cedar. I feel like this is definitely a staple. It's unisex, it's fresh, you can wear it during the day, it's perfect for the hot weather, it's perfect for spring, it's perfect for daytime, casual nighttime. I don't have anything like this in my collection, and honestly, I don't think there's anything on the market that smells like this. It has that definitely like i said white t-shirts jeans very easy going this is a really easy grab and go type of fragrance and if you haven't tried it just try to get your nose on it because it's amazing i love it i definitely want to have it on my collection all the time and i just added it for my summer scents so once again that is byredo baldafric the next one is a very recent one that hit the market and i was really really excited because it's a flanker and the original that came out i did not like it and it was so so popular everybody's raving about it everybody loved it and i just couldn't get into it and i was like the bottle is so beautiful it's so classy it's so nice everybody loves it but i really couldn't get into it then the intense version came out and i kind of like that a little bit more and right when i was about to get it then they came out with the eau de toilette and that just knocked everything out of the park to me this is incredible and it's yves saint laurent libre and I'm sure you have seen this iconic bottle with the YSL logo at the bottom. This is the Eau de Toilette version. The Eau de Parfum, which was the original, it's too lavender for me. I could not get into that. I couldn't stand it. I tried as much as possible. I don't know why, because I love lavender. I have lavender oils in my house. I use lavender lotions. I really, really enjoy the scent of lavender, but for some reason, the composition in this fragrance, it just wasn't working for me. Then the intense version came out, which was a lot more vanilla predominant. And that one was a lot better, which I think I still might get it. If I can get a small bottle, um, I'll be able to add it to my collection. But then the Eau de Toilette came out not long ago. And when I smelled it, I said, this one is the one. It's fresh enough for the summertime and it has a lot more vanilla, a lot less lavender. It's just beautiful. It's very floral, the lavender, you can still smell it, but very much in the background. The vanilla is very predominant. 
but not in a gourmand heavy way. It's still very fresh. It's very light. The bottle, just two seconds. Again, everyone speaks about this incredible bottle. It is just gorgeous. I think they did an incredible, incredible job with this bottle. And the juice in the Eau de Toilette goes so well with the look. It's like a light pink, light peach shade. It's just gorgeous. And the Eau de Toilette is extremely fresh. Let's give it a spray. Mmm. It's so nice, it's so fresh. The lavender definitely takes a second roll in the background and it's just crisp and beautiful. And I can see myself in like a beautiful, long, flowy floral dress with beautiful beach wave. <laughs> What am I going with this? Beautiful beach waves on my hair. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I've only used it once, so the longevity, I would say, so far in what I have noticed, it's about three hours, then after that it becomes a skin scent. The projection is moderate and the sillage as well. However, the longevity is really good. Like I said, three hours, then after it becomes a skin scent. But I don't mind reapplying this. This is really, really, really nice. Let's take a look at the notes. On the main accords, we have white floral, citrus, floral, lavender, fresh, musky, vanilla, sweet, powdery, green. And for the top notes, we have lavender, bergamot, and mandarin orange. On the middle notes, we have jasmine tea, orange blossom, and jasmine. To me, that's a really good combination. The jasmine tea, the orange blossom, and jasmine, nice. The base note, musk, vanilla, and ambergris. I was so, so happy when they came out with another toilet. Although lavender is one of the first notes, it's not as prominent as the OG. This is definitely super fresh. The lavender is very diluted on me at least. And I feel like, yes, this is definitely what I wanted the regular Eau de Parfum to smell like. This is what I thought it was gonna smell like, but it didn't. I definitely strongly suggest, I love, 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 love it. I wouldn't say daytime, beach, or sports kind of events, but brunch, going out shopping, date, date or evening is definitely a super appropriate fragrance. I don't think it's strong enough for going clubbing or going out or going to a special event. I think you would need something a little bit more upscale. However, for any other occasion, this is super, super versatile, and I think you will love it. If you're like me and the OG was too much and you didn't like that lavender note, although I think I was the only one because everybody was raving for it. The Eau de Toilette is going to be exactly what you wanted the OG to be. Once again, this is YSL Libre Eau de Toilette. The next one is another one that I like to use layered with other fragrances to amp up the longevity and the projection. However, it's designed to be used alone. And this one is Eccentric Molecule O2. I don't know if you can see, it's a clear bottle, so everything's extremely clear. As you probably know, there is Molecule 01 and Molecule 2 for ISO E Super and Ambroxan. And I tried those, but for some reason, I was not able to get into them. I couldn't smell Molecule 01. Molecule 2 was so extremely faint, I could smell it, but it was really, really faint, and I didn't think it was worthy to keep in my collection big bottles that are pretty costly in order to just have the Ambroxan and the ISO E Super. However, this one has both and it has a little bit of something extra to make it smell if I wanted to wear it on its own and it's definitely an incredible standalone fragrance or something great to layer. Let's take a look at the notes. So again, not to be confused with Molecule 2, this is Eccentric Molecule 2, which is from the same house, but this is the one that actually has additional notes. On the main accords we have amber musky woody iris powdery and violet and for the notes it has only four notes ambroxan and iso e super being the first two notes which is why i wanted to have this one because it has the iso e super and the ambroxan versus having two different bottles for two different scents i'd rather have one for both so it has ambroxan iso e super iris and jasmine this is a very light fragrance that definitely could be worn alone. It's very citrusy. It opens very bright, very energetic. It's just very radiant. Definitely, there's not much else to say. It's a really good fragrance that has key ingredients that will take any other fragrance to the next level in terms of longevity, projection, and sillage. However, you can also wear it on its own. It's really, really good freshy. You can have it just on its own, and it's perfect. Again, this is Eccentric Molecule O2.
And last but definitely not least, my new favorite. This is going to be my number one for the rest of the summer. I am almost 100% sure. I cannot believe I have this in my collection because it's something that I just didn't think I could ever get with this particular line. Not the house, but this particular line, I just was not able to like any of their perfumes. And finally, they launched something that is for me, that I love, and I cannot wait to share it with you. And that is Angel Iced Star, guys. Where do I even begin? I mean, this is perfection in a bottle. I got a little bit scared because I thought it was going to be a European launch and it wasn't gonna get to uh, this side of the globe in Canada and the United States, but we actually got it, so I'm super stoked about it. Let's just start with the bottle. Obviously, this is the typical Angel bottle, very similar to Angel Nova. It's the version that you can actually stand so it, it could stand on its own you don't need a base for it which is great they started doing this particular format in the bottles because they knew that a lot of the stars were very difficult to handle and to put away the colors guys you see this gradient so we start with this beautiful emerald green and then it gets into this beautiful magenta and a beautiful sapphire blue it is just gorgeous let's look on the back there is the typical information on the fragrance and on the side it has the grave engraving of Mugler over here I hope the camera is picking that up and I believe these are only 50 mls so let's take a look at the notes on the main accords we have sweet coconut fruity tropical vanilla like tonic and patchouli and for the actual notes very very simple but super gorgeous pineapple coconut vanilla patchouli and praline and if you notice on the graphic here it doesn't even have a top note middle note and base note it's like all the notes are all together is as if they're all equally as important and i'm not sure if they're all equally in amounts i would seriously doubt that that would be the case however i really like this offering this angel is the angel for me not sure where the ice comes from because this is an extremely tropical coconut heavy perfume it's incredible i love 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 it let's just give it a good spray mm. guys amazing 100 to me this is the best i've always been in the search for the perfect coconut perfumes and i've gotten close i have a few contenders that are really really good by the way if you want me to do a video of all of my coconut fragrances if you're into that and you want to see what other fragrances i have that are really good in the coconut realm let me know in the comments below and i will make a one note coconut type perfumes i have a lot that i think you guys will enjoy back to this I can smell the coconut, the pineapple. It's a ripe, juicy, sweet pineapple, which is the first note. The coconut is a sweet, creamy coconut, and you can smell a little bit the DNA of Angel very faintly in the background. And I actually spoke about that in my review on this fragrance, which I'll link over here if you haven't seen it. But we do smell a tiny bit. Maybe it's because I'm so sensitive to the DNA of Angel, but we do sense it, but so faintly, so extremely faintly that I actually think it gives it a little bit of body. It gives it a little bit of like, I am here to stay. However, in a tropical, fun, exciting way. So if you have been looking for a coconut fragrance that is exquisite, that is juicy, that is sweet, that has longevity, projection, sillage, all of it, then this is the one that you need to look into. Or if you have been more of an alien girl and you don't really like the angel offerings i tell you this is a really safe fragrance to jump into if you have an opportunity go to a department store sephora or a shopper's drug mart or if you have a pharmacy that sells designer perfumes just really try to smell it because it is gorgeous it's beautiful i really really like it i think they did an amazing job it's my new baby i love it i'm so excited my only problem is that this is a limited edition as you already know all of these summer stars are limited edition and yes we can still get our hands into the 2019 and the 2020 however at some point they're gonna go away why do they do that this is an amazing fragrance it should be part of a permanent collection it's an incredible incredible perfume whether it is to go on vacation or whether it is summer all year round or where you live I used to live in Florida I know it's hot all year round this would be perfect for a location like that I don't understand why they do this however it's really really good so I'm gonna probably need some backups 
because I don't ever want to be without this. This is incredible. This is amazing. Once again, this is Angel I Star by Mugler. All right, my lovelies, and this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found any of the fragrances interesting to you. Let me know in the comments below. Do you have any of these fragrances? What do you think about them? Which one is your favorite? Is there anyone that you don't have and you're curious and interested in potentially adding it to your collection? I would love to know and chat with you about it in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed just yet, join the family. What are you waiting for? We have incredible content on a weekly basis and I truly, truly hope you would consider joining the family. To all my beautiful subscribers, once again, thank you so, so much. And I love you all until the next video.